What's up guys, JV2017 here with your daily Grand Theft Auto 5 tips and tricks content. Today we are looking at how to fly the Atomic Blimp. So before we get into anything at all, you guys need to know that this requires you to have pre-ordered Grand Theft Auto 5 and punched in the little code that they gave you inside of the case in order to use this blimp. However, if you got the special edition or collector's edition of this game, you get the blimp automatically regardless of whether you pre-ordered or not. The first step to fly in the Atomic Blimp, you need to whip out your phone by clicking up on the D-pad, click the contacts, and call the Blimp contact right on there. It's funny because the phone call sounds like you're calling a taxi. I didn't know that it was that easy to order and fly a Blimp. It's kind of silly, but anyways, they tell you that they're going to drop one to you soon or send one out to you right away. That's kind of misleading because I thought a Blimp would just like magically appear right in front of me. It doesn't. Once you get off the phone, the blimp icon will appear somewhere on your map. Now, sometimes it's kind of elusive and hard to spot, so if you can't find it like I couldn't initially here, look in your mini-map in the bottom left. It shows the little blimp icon there, and then go to your big map and locate it. I have flown the blimp multiple times, and both times it has actually appeared in the same spot, as you can tell right there in the Vinewood Racetrack. It spawns right in the middle there, so you're gonna want to lay down your waypoint. If it doesn't spawn there, you know, you might be up in Blaine County and there could spawn on Trevor's runway or something like that, his airstrip. As a general rule of thumb though, it will spawn as closely as it can to you. Sometimes it'll spawn down here at the Los Santos International Airport. You just need to look for it. I decided to call a taxi because I wanted to get there as fast as possible, and lo and behold, there is the gigantic atomic blimp. Once you make your way to the actual blimp itself, you can tell it's just massive. I got Franklin to kind of take a little pose in front of this thing just to show you guys how big it is, you know, compared to the characters. It's just huge. Probably the biggest thing you'll fly in the game. In terms of actually flying this thing, it's not difficult. I mean, the whole point of flying this thing is to look at the sights of Los Santos and San Andreas and really kind of appreciate the beauty then time that Rockstar put into this game. I mean, it is gorgeous, and especially when you can go up in this blimp and just explore around the world and fly around in this thing. It is just so cool, so fun. However, make sure in case you don't want to explode into smithereens and bits and pieces, do not fly this thing into anything else. I saw this other blimp and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna fly into it, boom. The thing exploded and I got wasted. I was just laughing so hard when this happened. It's not really a huge deal though. You lose a few hundred bucks and you'll appear at a hospital and you'll be able to call that blimp service again and hop in a blimp and be back in the air within like five minutes. So uh, you could definitely still have some fun with the atomic blimp for sure. But as you can tell, it's awesome. And what I'm doing right here, I turned off my HUD and my radar completely. So all I was seeing was this on the screen and it's just beautiful, you know? I highly encourage you guys to fly all over the world, you know, fly over to Mount Chiliad, fly over Blaine County, fly over downtown, you know, get as close as you can, but don't hit any buildings, because you will explode. And look at the Vinewood sign, that's just gorgeous, it really is. And also, if you wanna know how I'm doing this, click the B button or circle on the PS3 and you'll go into cinematic mode and it'll do some cool little cinematic viewpoints and angles and again it's all to appreciate the beauty of this game and it's really peaceful i mean i had the radio turned off as you could tell and rockstar's ambient soundtrack you know the soundtrack that just plays when you have the radio off or some of the dynamic events that you play in the game will play some music that rockstar made it is superb it's stellar it's really really good and i really enjoyed myself flying over as you can tell i'm heading over to mount chiliad right here as I got closer to Mount Chiliad, it started to rain, and so that was pretty, even though it was overcast. And I totally see myself in the future trying to hop in a blimp and fly around while it's, you know, during the sunset or something, or maybe during the night. This is really just one of those leisure activities that's still really fun to do. So that is all I have for you guys today. If you learned something new from this video, I would really appreciate a click of the like button. And remember that this is your one-stop hub for Grand Theft Auto V content on YouTube. Everything you will need will be on this channel, so subscribe and stay tuned for more videos very, very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you later. Peace!